so we have a problem here it's a very good problem it's a gate 2016 okay gate 2016 paper uh, very good question actually see and um, during that time during that period uh, gate 2016 like uh, many students did it wrongly but anyways after after the results most of them identified what is the mistake and uh, where does the mistake but those who understand the concept from the base okay those who remember all the assumptions properly they would have answered this question correctly those who are not able to um like not able to understand or not able to identify the assumptions properly they they couldn't uh, like they couldn't answer this question correctly so if you are remembering any uh, if you are remembering any formulas or any equations the more important thing is assumptions also right so if you are going to start remembering like if you are going to read some equations just be very curious very cautious about assumptions like what i was talking about here from hydrostatics law we, der we derived that p is equal to rho g z and pressure is directly varying with respect to z p is proportional to z so p to the power of 1 this is the knowledge which we got from hydrostatics law so p is directly proportional to z in the sense uh, p is varying linearly okay p is varying linearly with z with depth as depth in increases pressure is going to increase linearly with z right with uh, depth and uh, that is applicable only if the fluid is incompressible if you would have noted it we discussed this we discussed this um in a separate cases incompressible fluid and non inco uh, incompressible fluid and compressible fluid we discussed separately in the previous videos of our video course right so but um but what is the fact here if it is incompressible fluid that is fine um but for a compressible fluid this is not going to be true right like as i said they will be giving you this rho as a function of z or this rho will be given as a variable here rho is a constant for incompressible rho is constant it is varying linearly with z now the question is what assuming constant temperature condition so assuming constant temperature condition and r to be an ideal gas constant temperature condition and r to be an ideal gas the variation of atmospheric pressure with height okay from fluid statics they are asking with respect to statics and i know that hydrostatics law dp by dz variation of pressure with respect to z will be equal to uh, will be equal to rho into g for a static fluid for a static fluid dp by dg equal dp by dz equal to rho g right now most of them without understanding the question properly if you are if you are not reading the question properly directly they are asking the variation of pressure with respect to height your mind will directly switch to the option linear but here this linear option is a trap okay most of the cases when you are going to answer option a when you are going to choose option a you need to be very very cautious about it in gate i am not saying that all options a will be a trap but if they want to keep a trap then they will be keeping that trap in option a only okay it is not like i am not specifically saying that always option a will be trap but if they want to keep then option a will be a trap you have to be double time cautious okay so here also option a is a trap linear is not correct but the most familiar equation p is equal to rho g z is the most familiar equation and uh, in almost all the chapters i will be using this equation to solve many problems and also to like uh, to get many answers for that like to uh, in almost all the analysis in bernoulli's equation or uh, when a when a fluid is flowing in a pipe etc 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 in fluid statics fluid dynamics everywhere i will be using this equation only most of the cases uh, the reason for that is in fluid mechanics we will study mostly about liquids only which means we will treat the liquids to be incompressible liquid liquid can be treated as incompressible that we already know which we already know from our concept of compressibility right so we already discussed about compressibility and bulk more or less liquids can be treated as uh, incompressible so if it is a liquid we can assume it to be incompressible and we can use this p is equal to rho g z formula everywhere okay but here they given here that is a very 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 important point to note it is air and it is at 
constant temperature and air can be treated as an ideal gas. So, these three assumptions are very important. So, here I cannot treat air as an incompressible fluid because air is compressible, gases are compressible. So, this is not applicable. So, I cannot use this here, it is not applicable for this problem. Then what to do? Like this equation from where we got? This equation we got from hydrostatic law only, right? dP by d is equal to rho g. I will integrate this and I will assume that uh, density to be constant. Then I will find an equation p is equal to rho g z. But uh, like we got it from there by assuming it to be incompressible. Now, by from the given assumptions, I need to find a different equation for pressure. How to do that? See, they are asking atmospheric pressure with respect to height. Let me take this is atmosphere. Okay, atmosphere. Here, let me take this is a, a some, some position at atmosphere. Let me take this as 1. As we are moving downwards, let this be 2. As we are, as we are moving downwards, this be 3. So, as we are moving downwards, atmosphere is completely filled with air, right? So, atmosphere is completely filled with air. As I am moving downwards, uh, I know that pressure is going to increase because dp by d is equal to rho g. As I am moving downward, the specific weight value will be continuously like the weight of the uh, not specific weight, the weight of the air, the weight of the air which is going to act here, like weight of the weight of the air which is going to act here will be more compared to weight of the air, weight of the top air which is acting on this place, this, uh, this place, right? And weight of the air which is acting here will be much more than that of weight of the air which is acting here. So, as I am moving downwards, the pressure is going to increase, that is for sure, but how it is going to increase, that is what I am going to, that is what we need to calculate from our base hydrostatic equation. Right, see, what are the assumptions here? Temperature is constant. Second one is air can be treated as ideal gas. So, if air can be treated as an ideal gas, then for an ideal gas, we know an equation PV equal to MRT. If I rearrange this, P is equal to mass by volume into RT, right? So, mass by volume uh, is nothing but density. So, P is equal to density into RT. So, density is equal to P by RP, okay. So, this is it. So, this is the variation of density. Since air can be treated as an ideal gas, I can use ideal gas equation. From ideal gas equation, I determined density. Now, for a particular gas, for air, we already know uh, characteristic gas constant, it is a constant, right. So, for a particular gas, characteristic gas constant will be constant and R, like not R, T. Temperature is also constant because from the question, so, this product of RT is constant, which means this rho is directly proportional to pressure. As pressure varies, density will also vary. For what? Uh, for an ideal gas under constant temperature condition, okay, isothermal condition, right. Now, it is very simple. Now, substitute this here, dP by dz equals to P by RT into G. I am substituting in place of rho, I am substituting P by RT there. Now, rearrange this like our variable separable method which we already discussed in, uh, in our uh, like in our differential equation course. So, if I rearrange this dP, all P terms I will separate it to one side. So, dP by P which will be equal to G by RT into dz, bringing this dz there and uh, P here. Now, integrate this. If I integrate this, what I will get ln of P equals to G by RT is a constant, R into T is a constant and uh, acceleration due to gravity can also be treated as a constant. So, G by RT can be taken outside and integration of uh, dz was z plus an integrating constant C. So, P will be equal to rising exponential on both sides. So, that will be exponential to the power of G by RT like exponential G by RT z plus C. So, this I can write it as P equals to e to the power of g by rt into z plus not plus like uh, since it is exponential so I can write it e to the power of constant c. Anyways e to the power of constants will also be a constant so which is equal to pressure. Finally what is the equation I am getting? I will write that equation here pressure p equals to e to the power of g z by rt right. So, exponential g z by r t into some other constant c 1. I am taking c 1 is equal to e to the power of c because uh, 
exponential to the power of constant will also be a constant, right? So, P is equal to e to the power of G z by R t into C1. Now, you can say how pressure is varying. So, pressure is varying exponentially with respect to z. As z increases, pressure will increase exponentially with z, right? So, the correct answer was B exponential. So, it is a very good question. That is why I, am, I was repeating it here. So, be very careful about the assumptions and uh, like uh, all the small, small things which has been taken care of. So, when I am deriving the equation P is equal to rho G Z, okay, P is equal to rho G Z. When I am deriving this, we taken rho to be like rho to be constant that is incompressible. But for this question, density is not constant. Air is an ideal gas under constant uh, temperature condition. So, I need to use ideal gas equation under constant temperature condition to find out how pressure is varying with respect to Z. So, very good question. Um, so, if you want to register for a full course on fluid mechanics, it is already the registration was already open in Endurance Engineering Academy. So, the link has been mentioned in the description box. You can just go and sign up and you can uh, start watching the videos and uh, like uh, every week there are around uh, two like minimum one so two chapters has been getting uh, uploaded so already we uploaded two chapters so we are uh, working on it working on fluid mechanics presently and uh, the complete uh, engineering mathematics video has been already uploaded so these this complete engineering mathematics video will be very very useful for uh, gate or any other uh, public sector exam public sector examinations such as like uh, the recently TRB or uh, TRB Polytechnic, TNEB Polytechnic exam, sorry, TRB Polytechnic and TNEB Aspen Engineer exams uh, or else even um, like Coal India examinations, BARC, ISRO, Engineering Service. So, the course has been designed in a very well manner so that it will be useful for almost all the exams. It is uh, not necessary that uh, it belongs only to GATE. Okay, so if you undergo that course and if you start practicing the question, previous year questions of that particular exam, then obviously you can you can get a very good mark. Like I'm, I can guarantee say you that. So, so that is a speciality of engineering mathematics course. And even the same with the same motive, I started uh, uh, we started to um, upload fluid mechanics videos. And uh, most probably within one one and a half months, we'll be completing fluid mechanics. And parallelly, I'm starting stentometers also.